You're so good. I want to eat you. Hey guys, and today I have a smelly video, I guess. I really wish that we could invent some kind of like YouTube smell vision going on here because these scents are insane. So basically this is a Lush and a Candle Autumn and Christmas range kind of haul. I am hoping this goes to plan because there is a lot of things I have got to get through. They are so nice and I just love this time of year for just everything. So I'm going to start off with the candles and then I'm going to go into all the Lush products that I've purchased. First of all though, I did want to mention this cute little guy. Isn't he adorable? <laughs> He's so cute. And this came out in the Halloween range last year and um, my friend Scarlett got herself one and she was going to get me one but they didn't have any left but I'm so glad they brought it back this year just for a small period I, as soon as it was online and she sent me the link I was like I have to get it this year I'm going to start off with a candle that is not really festive it's not really autumnal either it's just one I picked up that I really like the scent of this candle is by Sanctuary Spa Black Rose and Cassis? 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 I don't know how to pronounce that candle and it smells so incredible. It comes in this cute little decorative box. <sighs> so you can definitely smell that black rose. Oh yeah, I think it was £10. I might even start this in the new year. It's just a, that kind of like new year fresh scent after all the spices and the cinnamon candles that I'll be lighting over the next couple of months. Okay, votives. So let's see what we've got here. Cranberry pear and you can definitely smell the cranberry in there and the pear kind of comes through at the end. Next we have one of my favourites is the passion fruit martini. It smells so nice and I think this is going to be one that I'm going to save for like spring or summer next year. Next we have is the spiced orange, a festive one that I have seen quite often. I really like that. I had previously bought the rhubarb crumble from the autumn range and I absolutely love that. There are four in the autumn range but ebony and oak smells amazing. There was another one that was called Autumn Autumn Nights, but it smelled a bit like men's cologne. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love men's cologne, but I just didn't want my room to smell of it. And it just smells so autumny, like the leaves, the wood, the just the dry wood when you walk in a wood, I guess. Next we have is the Vanilla Bourbon. Now, this one I was unsure about. So this is kind of like a warm vanilla. It's a warm, chocolatey vanilla scent. I can't really describe it. It's got like a little bit of coffee in there as well I think. I love like coffee scents when I'm reading. I don't like coffee but I love coffee scents. But yeah, I, I like that one. Next I have three little votives. The first one I have here is the apple cinnamon cider. The cherry vanilla and cherries on snow. It kind of, the name kind of reminds me of Revlon's cherries in the snow lipstick I believe and they do a nail polish for that as well. The next candles or votives I have is this Christmas set. This is probably the only set I'm going to be purchasing from the Christmas range, mainly because it has pretty much all the new candles in this, including a few from last year. So the, let's start from this end. So we have the red apple wreath, which I believe I still have a couple of those left. And then we have all is bright, festive cocktail, oh my gosh. I think that's probably one of my favourite new scents. Then we have the Star Anise and Orange candle, which again is very, it has that kind of spice, but orange, the orange really comes through. The last one was the candle that I was most intrigued by this um, season or this, this release because I don't think they've ever released a kind of macaron, macaroon scented candle before and I really wanted to smell it and oh my goodness, it is amazing. The macaron treats candle I think would probably be the one I get in a medium jar or a large jar, maybe even the festive cocktail as well. The last two from my candle section is the gingerbread maple and sugared apple. I've not seen these before so I don't know if these are brand new or not gingerbread maple I thought it was gonna smell something like Zoella's gingerbread candle it smells amazing it's very spicy actually but it smells gorgeous I love that and then we have sugared apple oh this is kind of different I didn't th think I didn't think it would smell like this it smells kind of it smells a bit like um, the fresh linen one a little bit it's, you can smell the apple but then it's kind of like sweet but fresh 
that makes any sense. Blush. I kind of want to start off with the Halloween collection. Okay, so here is the pumpkin bath bomb. Looks so cute. I don't know why, I just find it really cute but a little bit evil at the same time. You can definitely smell that kind of, that really strong sherbetty cinnamon kind of scent. It's definitely a spicy kind of cinnamon. It's not like um, a cinnamon stick, it's because that's more like sweet and fresh. This is the Autumn Leaf Bath Bomb. Doesn't that look amazing? I love how it's kind of like split in half my leaf, um, but most of them were kind of either split in half or like one colour. Oh. I think the best way to describe this is that it's fresh. It's one of those cool kind of evening bath bomb, if that makes any sense. Sparkling pumpkin blah blah blah. And if I remember correctly, this is the really, really glitter one. Look at that. It's so cute. And you have like the little cinnamon stick on top. So this one, ooh, this one's different. I wasn't expecting this to smell like this actually. I don't know how I expected it to smell. <laughs> This kind of smells sweet, like it's not, I thought it was going to smell cinnamony, but it's more sweet. Lime, that's what I can smell, it has lime in it. It also has grapefruit and juniper berry oil in it. Next we have is the Monsters Ball Bath Bomb. I can't even remember what this actually looks like. I have no idea, but we shall see. Oh no, yeah, I remember what it looks like. I can't believe I forgot. It's this little guy. Oh my gosh. I don't know about you, but don't you think he looks like something out of Disney's Monsters, Inc? I really do. He looks a bit like Mike, or he could be like Mike's cousin with blue horns and a pink head. I don't know. This one smells like Lush. You know when you walk into Lush, or you even pass Lush because you can smell it from miles away, um, but that scent of Lush, this is exactly what this pretty much smells like. And I love that this is like the melt, the little, the eyes kind of like a little bath melt. It's gonna give you that very nice soft and silky feel to your skin and just refreshed, I think. So that's why I really like the fact that his, this eye on this little guy is um, very beneficial and I'm so glad it's in the bath bomb. Christmas range. Here is the delicious receipt. First off we have the Candy Mountain Bubble Bar. If you have loved Lush for as long, as they've existed, or okay, not existed, but Candy Mountain is so well known. Candy Mountain is pretty much your go-to. It's covered in this really nice glitter. Not only do you have really nice scented balls, you have a bit of sparkle floating around your bath. The thing about bubble bars is they go a long way because you can just break a piece off and you sort it for a good five baths. Three baths, three to five baths, I would say. It depends how sparingly you want to use it. Next, we have in here is the Butter Bear Bath Bomb. If you know me, <laughs> if you've watched my videos, I love the Butter Bear Bath Bomb. I love this little guy. Isn't he just adorable? I love him. And the thing about this, I said this last year, I'm gonna say it this year. This little guy it smells like butter beer. So if you want a butter beer scented bath, Gut the butter bear. Those two together, amazing bath. Just done it in one. Snow Angel bath melt. I didn't get this last year. There it is. So pretty, so sparkly. Can you see the sparkles? Really fresh, really wintry and cold. I think it also has kind of like a little bit of a marzipan scent to it. I don't know if that's just me. With this, because it has lots of glitter on the front and the back, you are getting a very nice glittery body. Don't worry, these are not really heavy, heavy glitter, they're not noticeable. It's kind of like a nice glow. So it would be perfect for when you're going, you know, having a nice bath before you go on a night out maybe. Or you just want to look sparkly. Oh, this is one of the new ones. So this is the Ruby Red Slippers. or Well, it should be Slipper because there's only one. So I don't know about that. I was so happy this is a bubble bar because I really wanted to make this last long. So the Ruby red slipper bubble bar is £3.95. Oh my goodness me. It's a glittery little red shoe with a little bow on it and oh my gosh it smells so nice. What just fell off? Oh my gosh where did that go? 
lost a bit of your <laughs> ruby shoe. Well, that's not going to get me home to um, Kansas, is it? It smells sweet, sugary, fresh. You don't have to travel to the Emerald City to find your inner Dorothy. Crumble your ruby slipper under running water to add sparkle to your bath time. Then immerse yourself in the spicy floral fragrance of Carnation Absolute with tangerine oils, hypnotic effect and rose absolute soothing properties. You'll be in the bubbly land of Oz in no time. Lie back, click your heels, there's no place like foam. Oh my gosh, that's so cool! I love the fact that this is foam. That is brilliant. Lush, you're just so amazing with your descriptions. I love it. Father Christmas bath bomb. Oh my gosh, I love this. The, oh my gosh, look at him, he's so cute. I really wanted to get this last year. I'm so glad I've got it this year. And again, it smells of the bubblegum snow fairy scent. <clears throat> this and my candy mountain. Oh my gosh, it's snow fairy heaven. <laughs> so this one's the Stardust Bath Bomb. Again, I didn't get this last year, but my best friend persuaded me to get it this year. She was like, just do it, just, just do it. I think this smells like the Snow Angel bath melt. It's very vanilla-y and maybe a slight touch of lemon. I might be wrong. Oh my gosh, I forgot to say. This, when you melt it or when it like, you know, fizzes in your bath, it brings out this blue inside it with uh, blue stars. I cannot wait to use this now. Snow Fairy Fun. I had to purchase this. I love the one I got last year which was the magic of Christmas. The magic of Christmas just smelled so nice. It had like a really berry scent to it. However, I picked up the Snow Fairy one this year because it smells of Snow Fairy, it smells of bubblegum. I mean, why wouldn't you do that? We're getting there guys, I promise. The next one is Nevermind the Ballistics Bath Bomb. I cannot... Seriously, this is one of the new ones to the Christmas range and it smells friggin' amazing. It looks like this. It sounds like yellow and pink or red. I think it says red on the packaging, but it's actually, in my opinion, pink. It smells so good. It smells like something, but I can't think what. It smells of lemon. Lemon and lime. Lime and lemon. And like, uh, like Fanta. No, not Fanta. Oh, what's that ice lolly called? It's like a lemon ice lolly or it's like Calippos. Oh my frigging gosh, it smells like Calippos. I think this is the one that kind of looks like a sunset when it melts all together. It just looks so nice and it smells amazing. Next we have is my favourite wand of all freaking time. Like, I cannot. If you watched my video last year, you'll know exactly what it is. The Magic of Christmas. Bubble Bar. If you love cinnamon, and you love everything Christmassy, and you love everything gold, you need this bubble bar. It smells amazing. It's like cinnamon heaven. Cinnamon, vanilla, spices, it's just amazing. I literally cannot wait to melt this in my bath once again this fall and Christmassy season. This is the So White Bath Bomb. I didn't get this last year because I decided to get the Santa's Belly, which I didn't purchase this year. If you have Santa's Belly or you have this, then you know exactly what it smells like. It smells like apple. That is pretty much the shape of this bath bomb anyway. Cannot wait for my bath to smell of sweet apples. Next we have is the other wand, and this is the Magic Wand Bubble Bar. I mean, come on. It's just so friggin' cute, and oh my gosh, that scent. I'm just breathing it in right now and I just cannot. My body has literally just gone into a whole shiver of craving to have a nice bath with this scent in it. <gasps> I want you, I want to eat you, I want you inside of me. You smell so good. Next we have is the Jester Reusable Bubble Bar. This little guy is so cute. Not just that, he smells so amazing and he smells like flipping oranges. It's so, he's so zesty and so, like smells like refreshers kind of thing. If you want that orange zesty scent, you have totally got to go for this guy. It comes with a bell as well, with a blue ribbon. He's a little cheeky guy and he smells amazing. What I also decided to pick up, which is new to the range, is this pot of 
freaking heaven. I was going to get the small pot but I knew I just couldn't do that because I knew I'd be using this all year round if I got the bigger pot. So this is the Snow Fairy Body Conditioner. When I heard that this was being released, I was all freaking over it. I needed it in my life. You use it, instead of like um, moisturizing your skin after you've had a bath, you basically do it whilst you're in the bath. So you wash your hair, you know, get all that girly goodness, and then you basically just moisturize your skin in this beautiful scented snow fairy goodness. Oh, it smells amazing, it smells so good. This is the last bath bomb, the most anticipated bath bomb of the century, in my opinion. It is, hands down. The guy in Lush was like, it was, he has so many because he loves it that much. And he was just so sweet. They know me, he knows me in Lush because I go in there that often. But it looks like this. Oh my goodness. So it's a blue bath bomb, obviously, and then you have these gold bath melts inside the bath bomb. And it's such an amazing scent. Mm. I'm gonna have to like tell you what's in this because I don't want to get it wrong. It needs that justification. Obviously you can see all the glitter. It's just, it looks amazing. Who doesn't want this in their bath? That's what it smells like. Honey. Okay, so honey scented sparkles of Brazilian orange and ber bergamot waltz. I think I said that right. I think I just butchered that name actually. With swirling golden stars, creating a world of coba cobalt, cobalt, cobalt color. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. As the calming blanket of shimmering midnight blue unfolds, Brazilian orange and bergamot oils combine to send your mood rocketing up to the stars. Oh, amazing. Okay, so if you want to get me anything for Christmas, guys, get me this. Oh, I just love everything. I, this range is mind blowing. I'm just going to quickly name the three things that I really love from this range, and that would have to be the Snow Fairy Body Conditioner, the Shooting for the Stars Bath Bomb. I cannot wait to use those, and the Jester Bubble Bar because I've never used all these three before, and they smell so amazing. That is the end of this lush candle smelly scented haul i hope you loved it as much as i love showing you guys what i purchased if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel and comment below i do read all your comments i do reply and i'm so happy that you guys take the time to do that i will go now because the x factor is on and i need to go watch it but thank you so much i will see you again next video bye guys Ready. Okay, so ah, it's like dusting all over the place. I've got dust all over my phone. It'd have to be. Is my candle gone out? Oh no, my candle's gone out. I have to light that. I just love bubbles. Yay! Oh, smells amazing. I just want to lick it. Can I lick it? I'm so appreciative of the time you take to watch our videos and like comment because it just means a lot. I love to hear what you have to say. And yeah, let's just go with that because my friend is telling me I need to get off the camera. Um, yeah, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe to our channel, comment below, and I will see you again soon. That is enough. You need to go. I need to go. Go have a nice evening. <laughs>